Uh, hello? I'm a way. I'm a way. Single leg, oh, he rap, rap. You thought it was a drought, that's cap, cap. I get the front and I get the back. back. Oh, let me get this out of my mouth. Oh, good night. Woo. All right, I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath after that. You know, I always wanted to do one of those like MTV crib style things. Like, man, look at my crib. I need to get this. Like, good night. Hold on. Hold on a sec. Whew. So, I'm not too sure how this vlog is really going. I don't know. I, I can't see myself. I, I need a power strip for my. Monitor, so I'm really not too sure what I'm seeing if I'm even in screen right here. So this is gonna be a uh, learning lesson for me right here. Good night, I'm out of breath though. I just always wanted to be like, you know, one of those big bad MTV crib type show things. So I don't know if it worked. Anyways, I know I talked about doing. I'm so out of breath right now. I know I talked about doing a house tour with everybody, with y'all, you know. And I was just thinking, I was like, man, that's kind of weird. That's what you guys saw a lot. You saw the kitchen here, you know. You guys saw Nola. Let me show you Nola. Nola, come here. You say hi to the camera, Nola. You say hi, Leonardo, come here. All right, let's see, Leonardo being a scaredy cat. Lenny boy, Lenny boy. All right, so anyways, you saw some of the house right there. But anyways, what I'm gonna do is show you, I should I should stop this and catch my breath first. So as a lot of you know, I recently moved, right? Some of you have been here for a while. You probably remember when I first moved to the new house now we're in this house, which you recently built. The um, reason we did this is I did need a little more room for YouTube, but we kind of had this in the plans even beforehand to kind of change houses that we were currently in. But I did want another room for doing YouTube. I'm not going to pause this. I'm going to go straight through out of breath right here. I'm so out of shape. So anyways, let's go in and start. You guys want to start in the YouTube studio or the game room? Let's start the YouTube studio. That's kind of the boring stuff, huh? So anyways, this is... My new studio, I'm gonna flip you guys around and talk to you that way, all right? So let's flip you this way. All right, so I'm not too sure how this is working. Like I got the mic facing me now, so this might sound a little weird. Anyways, let me back up here. This is where I do all of my videos. I'll back up even more, you can see. So I have videos, all YouTube, straight studio, over here in this door, which we'll check out in a second. It's like game room, work room, office. So anyways, whew, let's go into the studio. I see on the ceiling, I got a few uh, little sound dampeners up there, uh, right by the fan. I should probably add some more. Over here, I have a light, the Godox. Let me see, can we focus? I don't know, Godox SL60. Behind that, I have these two. Let's go up front here. Swing you around. We'll get a better view right here. You can see behind that, I got those black and white backdrop. So I'd pretty much do thumbnails, or if I ever want a different backdrop, I can pull it down. I can even add more back there. But you can kind of get a perfect view. This is like where I stand. That's that back there. This stand is for camera B that shoots down. You see a lot of top down shots in my videos now. So it's going from there to table. That's because I want to eliminate B-roll. I'm not a big B-roll fan. It takes up time and I just like being right on the camera live with you guys throughout the entire video rather than you know break into B-roll. There's my primary mic, Deity. DD Pro something or another, and that's also the same mic I'm talking on now on this camera. So both cameras right here. Let me go around the other side. Here's what I look at. Right, there's a shelf of a bunch of products. So I got two monitors, one Feel World, one, I don't know what that is. Anyways, an A7 III, Sony A7 III. I got the Tamron lens. That's usually on this camera. Um, the lens we're using here right now is a Sigma 24-70. And that's my primary lens, the one that we're using right now. That's the top-down lens, wide-angle lens. But both my cameras are a7.3s. I'm just not a big fan of learning new gear, so I try to keep it the same. Over here is the shelf you see in some of my videos now. I kind of got some of those like rustic-looking shelves. And I just put some of my favorite products over here. B-roll lens, the G Sony G, what is that, 90, 2.8 macro. And there's some other stuff. 
Uh, what did I got there? The ZA12, some Steel Series headset, uh, Maya Pro, Nathan Drake, Uncharted, Akai, little beat maker thingy right there. Pretty fun. Xbox controller, smile. All right, Ghost. I used to be a big Destiny fan. Not anymore. I used to be. Um, all of these desks that you're going to see in all of my offices, so you can see right here. Oh, here. You know what? Let's go down here. So I got a power strip. Let's hit that light. And then we also have another one over here. Bam. Oh, check this out. This is like a soft memory foam rug. That's what I stand on behind here. Anyways, back to the desks. They're all stand adjustable. Pretty sweet desk. Every desk that you see in here or in my office game room is going to be these. They're by Flexi Spot. I'll have the links down below. And I believe I had a coupon code as well. Links will be down below. They sent me these two. No, they sent me the two in the game room. I like them so much that I bought these. They're really solid. They don't break the bank. Sound like a sponsor plug right now. Again, they did send me the two we'll see in the game room. But again, I purchased these two because I like them so much. And again, they were a fair price. These lights up here are really cool. The ones I use, these spot down, a GVM, and they're really sweet. Very easy to adjust. They tell you everything right there. They're pretty cheap. They come with stands that you can actually mount on your desk. I have mine on big stands, as you can see down here. But they're really cool. I have that shining down onto the, onto the table. Another one shining onto the table. And that big backlight back there. So, as you can see, we got a lot going on. Again, my other camera's hanging on that pole over there right there then this one and that hot mess swing over here this is the b-roll table i just got done filming this video should be live by now uh corsair pbt caps another gvm rgb light over here pretty sweet again i like these because again they don't break the bank and they really get the job done another adjustable desk this one has a memory flexi spot so when I shoot B-roll, I can set it to the exact spot. Also up top there, I got more of those backdrops, the white and black as well. Just again for some B-roll in the background, which I'm trying to eliminate. More sound dampening back there. So pretty cool little spot right there if I need to shoot B-roll. Swing over here. It is kind of tight in here, but I like it because it's like less steps, more productive. Up here is all of my props or gear, uh, you know, rulers, scales, props. Stuff like that. Coming down. Storage. Pending products. A lot of, lot of mouse pads. Lots of mouse pads. Um, embargo I had to cover up. And just some other products. Right? Some headsets. The Steel Series. Um, turntable. What do we got on here right now? Eminem. I have a turntable in every room of the house. I, I love music. So whenever I'm shooting B-roll, again, I don't like B-roll. So whenever I jam and, and throw on some music... I can get into it, right? I, I crank it up, it's loud, and then I can really get into B-roll. Okay, I guess because I'm listening to music, right? <laughs> Let's swing over here, the closet. And this is, again, just a storage. I mean, we're not completely moved in this house yet. So this is still, a lot of this is pending. Camera stuff. All right, what do we got over here? Some lights. This, I'll probably store a lot of keyboards in here. The keyboards are still in two or three boxes out in the garage. More camera stuff up there. So anyways, that is pretty much... The filming room we'll zoom out a bit and let you see so you can see it's like bam film the video over here walk over there shoot b-roll or whatever top-down camera so it's like the perfect size it might be looking kind of tight but it's like it's perfect because again we're here bam we're over here our products are there it's one stop shop and you're done you know what I mean I, I really love it. it's very productive and just right there less steps touch it less Bam and get it done. Anyways, let's go check out the game room. All right, so again, that was the studio. That's where I do all of my videos. I'm pretty much in there almost every day, if not every other day. Um, that's there, pretty much almost done. I might tweak a little bit here and there. Anyways, let's wanna swing over. This is uh, the game room or office where I edit all of my videos. All right, so coming into the game room, pretty much the exact same size as the studio. Let's turn on this light back here. There we go. It's not too, there's not too bright. It's all this one ceiling fan. Gives us kind of a yellow look. Anyways, let's go on to start right here where we were. Um, got a Sony receiver, speakers, little RC Mario switch deal. Another turntable. What do we have in here? We'll see what we have. Um, Cage the elephant. 
social cues, awesome vinyl. Again, I'm all about music. Every, even in the living room, I have a, uh, another turntable in there. I just love music. Talking about music, let's go and see what we got, right? Eminem, uh, The Rack and Tears, Franz Ferdinand, The Faint. Have you all heard of The Faint? Awesome band. You should check them out. Uh, Billy Eilish, Cage the Elephant, Nine Inch Nails, Milky Chance. Lots of big, uh, all of this right here. <laughs> white Stripes and Jack White. Really big White Stripes fan, Jack White fan. Great stuff. The Decemberance. What do you got? Some Rob Zombie. Dead Weather. Nirvana. Of course, like you don't have a vinyls collection if you don't have any Nirvana vinyls, right? Bunch of different stuff. Rage. Atmosphere. Swollen Members. Wu-Tang. Uh, Led Zeppelin, of course, right? Anyways, I'm getting wrapped up in the music. Tons of CDs down here. You youngins probably already know what those are, huh? A um, couple books. New Dr. Disrespect book. It's hilarious. And then uh, Walk in My Boots. Really cool stories about soldiers. Anyways. So there we go. That's pretty much music. Books. Still has a little bit of work to do right there. Swinging over here. You're going to see those. You guys remember way back in the days when I first started YouTube? I had these pictures hanging in my background. So you guys have been with me through three houses now. And it's pretty cool. Because like I said, moving so often, you still got those things that make it feel like home. Um, this right here is a La Lazy Boy Love Seat I just purchased for the game room. It just fits really nice. It's real sweet too. Oh, so cozy. After that intro, like I can just sit here and just move Nola. Like gee, they love leaning against it. Ah. Dude, this camera is so heavy. Like holding this camera with this cage, this microphone, this big lens, so heavy. Anyways. On to the rest. All right, so over here is the console. I don't say console. My PC is also routed to this TV. It's an LG 49-inch Nano IPS, and it's 120 hertz, actually. And the uh, input lag is really low on this. I think three-something. Three or four-something. It's really good for a TV, and this TV is only like 500 bucks, if not less. Awesome TV for the new consoles or PCs, if you're looking into that. So uh, really great option there. Now, as you can see down here, the consoles. We got the Nintendo Switch. Uh, the new Mario one, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X. Um, which controller? Sweet, I love that controller. Come here. Come here, Leonardo. Leonardo's going to join us now. Uh, uh, over here we got uh, what, DirecTV games. What games do we have in there? Last of Us, Forza, a bunch of Nintendo Switch games. Me and my son play a lot of Switch. Some PC games and Steel Seri uh, Steel Steel Case. What do you call them? <laughs> I used to collect these steel books. That's what they're called, steel books. I used to collect these. Anyways, oh, we got both dogs in here now. So we got Nola. Some of you guys have already seen Nola and Leonardo. So both dogs. This is pretty much where they hang out. They hang out with us all day. It's pretty cool. Anyways, behind this next cabinet, headsets per console. Again, we, we're still not really set up completely in this house. So which headset am I using for Xbox? The new Microsoft one. PlayStation, Arctic 9. So that's that. A little back massager over there. Wireless Logitech G915 TKL, which I use when my PC is hooked up over here. So it's wireless and I can just run my PC right to this. Up here, a lot of you know I'm a big Xbox controller nerd, right? So here's my collection of Xbox controllers. I've got a bunch, probably too many. A couple design labs. I'm really excited to see what they can do with the design lab next time. A couple game collectors edition statues up there. Two Assassin's Creed, Battlefield, The Division. I think I got another one somewhere. I don't know where it is though. A couple other controllers. Project Scorpio, Elite, Call of Duty, and Battlefield. I don't know why. I just love controllers. They're just so fun. And I do use them all. They don't just sit in the boxes. I do use them. Anyways, let's swing over here to the gaming computer. Now, you all probably remember this video just posted, Razer Isker. I've been using this chair a lot. It just, again, it feels great on the back. Very cozy. Back to the desks, right? So this is the flexi spot. Now, I, want, I want, really want to tell you guys about this. These are the ones they sent me. And not just because it's a sponsor plug, right? But as you see, we've got the glass top and that little drawer down here. You got the memory. Or it can go up and down. You can program yours. USB-C's, USB, memory and everything. The thing I really love about this desk, like seriously, is it's it's solid. It's not budging. And believe it or not, when this thing came, this was one piece. 
the legs were a piece. I had to attach that and plug it in. That's it. I loved it. It was like three pieces, bam, and we're set to go. The ones in the other room were not like this. As far as installation, I loved how this one was so stinking easy. Highly recommend these. I love them. If I need another desk, I will buy them again. Again, it's just a great price and a quality product. Anyways, moving on. Over here, a couple keyboards. And I do cycle through and use these. Up here, my Maya Pros. Let me fix this mic. Maya Pros, uh, Mel Geek, custom 60%. NK65, whatever it is, all translucent, uh, drop control. Ooh, that sounds good, doesn't it? Drop alt. My first custom 60% right back here. Over here, I used a HyperX microphone. It's pretty nice. I got it on, that little arm is super cheap. Any any of the stuff I'm showing you, I'll have the links down below as well. Going back further on the desk, uh, mouse, Zowie, ZA12B. Viper 8K review coming on this soon. I've been testing it for so long. Mouse bungees, three of the extra fi I forget what they're called. Extra fi mouse bungees. I got three. Glorious Model O wireless. The mouse that never leaves my desk is a Razer Death Adder V2 Pro wireless. I love the Death Adder. It's so cozy. Speakers, desk speakers, Bose. These guys are like a hundred bucks. Let me tell you what, they are awesome. They sound fantastic. Really good. A keyboard I got right now, Maya Pro. Uh, replacement caps, Cherry Speed Silvers, uh, desk mat, as you can see, Odin Gaiman made these for me, they know I love their zero gravity pad, and they made these, that's really cool, they're not for sale or anything, it was just kind of like a thank you, you know, they cover them, you know, yada yada, really cool thank you from them, and I, I absolutely love them, I absolutely love this surface, really cool surface, monitor, LG 27 inch, 1440p, one millisecond, nano IPS, Awesome monitor. I've reviewed it before. You can go check that out. Headphones back here. And these are pretty much what I use for gaming. What are these guys? The um, Meze. <laughs> Meze 99s. Right here, we have the 99 Neo. And these will be in a video soon. And then the 99 Classic back here, the wooden ones. And as you see on all of my headphones, I have um, Wicked Cushions. I'll have a review coming up on those soon. Those are absolutely amazing headphones there. Over here, we have the Sennheiser HD58X. I don't like these. And back here, we have the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros. I also don't like those. So it's kind of like headphones I love, headphones I don't like, and then my primary gaming, Arctic's Pro Wireless. Still use those to this day. As you see down here, Arctic's Pro Wireless. My other external amp, what is this guy? The iFi? I forget the name of it, but man, it kicks some serious sound. And then my primary headphones, Audio Technica ATH M50X. Um, some sweet new ear cushions right here. Big old sweat spot on my headband. <laughs> so anyways, those are my primary headphones. I use the majority of the time. Second would be Arctic's Pro Wireless. And then again, I use the Mezes a lot of times. Just kind of switch up some of the sounds. Over here, what do we got? Destiny, little mug. Viper Ultimate. This was for the test of the 8K. Coming soon again. Wallet. Steel Series. Over here. So this is my workstation, right? I know what a lot of you are asking, dude, why do you have two Macs? All right, so I think the lighting's automatically dim in itself because the monitors are so bright. Um, one thing I forgot to show you actually before we get to the workstation and talking about why I have two iMacs, I do have hues behind, uh, strips behind each desk and then uh, some stands right down there. So we'll hit uh, hue right here, hue. And we'll just turn them all on, we'll turn studio off. So as you can see, and then you, of course you can change it to whatever you want. I just like this mood at night when I'm gaming. Some red, little bit of backdrop light. Why, my wire management, by the way, is horrible. You know what? I totally forgot to talk about my gaming PC. Check out that wire management. I told myself I will never do wire management again and mess with it. And hey, I think I'm really uh, living up to my goal right there. So, so far so good. Anyways, PC. What is my PC? A 3080 an i9, and a ridiculous amount of RAM. I believe each one of those sticks is 32, if I'm thinking right, and I have four. Um, MSI motherboard, I got this from NZXT, but I upgraded the RAM. I had it in my old PC, and I figured, heck, let me just buy some other, you know, sticks and slap it in there. Awesome PC. I game at 1440p again, and it runs it fantastic. Call of Duty, mainly, and I stay around 144, pretty much steady. You know, 140s, 130s. So great, great PC right there. Anyways, over here, what you're still wondering about, why the heck do I have two iMacs? Not even on top of two um, 
iMacs. I also have a M1 MacBook Pro. So why do I have so many Macs? Number one, I love Apple products. My phone also is, what is this, the 12 Pro Max iPhone. So I love that guy as well. Everything syncs up, right? So over here, I pretty much do video stuff, whether it be rendering and stuff like that or, you know, processing videos, capturing footage, music, anything like that. Anything like if we call YouTube work, that's what I take care of over here. And that's using a Varmillo TKL with Cherry Reds. So this next Mac, this is kind of like, my daily life computer right so we go gaming pretty much just gaming dabble with a little bit of youtube over here right daily life browsing shopping whatever over here youtube work right macbook pro for whenever i don't want to be at the desk and i want to be in the bedroom so maybe excessive but convenient again i'm a real big productivity you know if i got a video rendering i'd like to be over here doing whatever i need to do without jacking with that just like in the other room. I like everything right there. Very productive to the point. Up here, we got a couple cabinets, which I have nothing in yet. The Xbox headset. Up there, the 100K plaque. Over there, a signed New York Mets hat and shirt by Jose Reyes. I don't know if we can see, but that's a picture of me and Jose Reyes back there. Spartan helmet. Blackout curtains. Same desk over here as we had on the gaming one. So it's real cool. They kind of match up right there. Again, I can't say it enough. These desks are awesome. What mess do we have under here? A printer, a scale, a label printer, uh, our internet, fiber internet, and again, a mess of wires. So anyways, that's pretty much that. By the way, both of these Macs are the 5K i9s too. I don't know if I'm just like raving about him now i love him <laughs> the chair over here fanatic and the seat i believe it's called i love this little guy very cozy i took the arms off so it doesn't mess with me but i really like that uh really like this chair over here so again this is my workstation right back there is i got it covered up because it's all my embargo stuff uh product info if i need it embargo calendar schedule this is really cool i just got this right so again my room's kind of I want to say it's tight, but it's, again, it's right there. Everything I need. So, bam, love seat. So, I didn't have any room for a table right here. It would have blocked me from working, right? It's it's kind of right there. So, this is really cool. Bam, bam. And look at that. Pop out table. I mean, is that not cool or what? Let's ask Leonardo. Is that cool, Leonardo? Is that cool? Yeah, he's like, what the heck is that thing, right? So, anyways, let me back out here a little bit and we'll get a shot of that. Again, PC gaming, daily life, work. So kind of workstation, gaming station. Over here, console station, right? Zoom out and then, again, music station. We got this closet over here, which is some products. Big old Razer suitcase, uh, keyboard stuff, tons of Techni Extrify GP1 mouse pads. <laughs> That's where we got those. Bunch of mice. Keycaps. Switches. Over here we have a bunch of headsets. Right? A whole bunch of headsets. And like I said, the keyboards are out in a garage. I think Nola is done working for the day. Look at that. She's done. Nola girl. You done? <laughs> Lenny's like, stop. So anyways, I really like it. Again, we can get a lot done. The whole family can hang out in here. If I'm working, my son can come in and game. Or if I'm gaming, he can game. And the PC is also hooked up to the TV. Really cool setup there. All right. So closing out the setup tour here. Again, very sorry. My vlogging skills are a little shaky and, and wonky. You know? By the way, this was the camera I was using. Um, but with the lens you're looking at me right now, that Sigma, I just love that stinking lens. It's a pricey little booger, but it's really good. But this is the camera. Again, as you can see, same Sony a7 III, same Deity mic over here. But I got a tripod mount on the top and the bottom of this cage. So it's real cool. Whenever I put it on the stand up here, it'll shoot down. I can take it either way or pull it over, just get over top down on the B-roll. I just, I don't know. I just love this little idea right here so I can flip it around. So, but anyway, sorry my vlogging skills were a little shaky. I've, I've never done that before, but I felt like it would be a little more with me. But anyways, we're closing it out right here where I do videos. And as you can tell through my setup, um, this is the third house you guys have been with me here two and a half years on YouTube, three houses. Uh, it ain't right, is it? You know? <laughs> but anyways, I love productivity. 
and I love simplicity, as you saw with my room, bam, videos, bam, right there. Over there, work, game, and then testing products all right in that same area. I love touch it less, right, and get the job done and have the rest of the day with family or hanging out, gaming, doing whatever you want, you know what I mean? And again, that's the same with this where I talked about cutting back on B-roll. It's making the videos easier. I'm not a big cinematic review person. I like being, again, right with you guys. So that's kind of the vibe and my idea with my whole setup right here. So anyways, that's pretty much it. If you got any questions or product links would be down in the description. If I forget something, just ask. Or if there's something you're interested in that you saw, just ask. Uh, by the way, some of you might be wondering what this is behind me. This is just a great big sticker, a huge sticker. So my brand new house, right? I got all this sound dampening and then this sticker. When I pull this stuff down, like this whole room's going to have to be redone. My wife doesn't like that. She really doesn't. But anyways, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you had any questions about anything you saw here that I forgot to mention, ask down in the comments and I'll let you know what it is or, uh, you know, where I got it or anything like that. But anyways, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now. Can do better than you